so in today's video, I'm gonna do a get ready with me for going back to work today. We've been on spring break for two weeks and it's our first day back. So I thought I would get ready with you guys to help me honestly ease into the day. And also today's video is also in partnership with Dossier. Dossier has designer cold favorite scents, but at a fraction of the cost. So instead of having to pay a really high price tag for your favorite fragrance, you get the same similar scent, but at a fraction of the cost, which is amazing. So the way it works is you can go on their website either if you have a scent in mind, you can go through their website and it'll tell you which scent is inspired by which one. You can choose that. Or if you don't know, you can browse and take a quiz. And with all of your preferences, it suggests some that may be great for you and some you might like. And then once you choose the scent you like, in the mail you'll get this box. It will have the scent laid out along with the card of all of the information of the scent that you picked out, which I really like because it'll tell you the scent that's inspired by all the notes and all that stuff and how it works. Here are the bottles, which are so beautiful. This is like so, I love having these bottles laid out on my vanity because it looks so nice and they are such cute bottles. Also, plus you can travel with these if you really wanted to. You could travel with these, which is nice. And one of my recent favorites is Powdery Orange Flower. It smells so good and it's just my favorite way of trying new scents that come out. I like having the option of being able to go on Dossier and try new scents. And this one that's inspired by Valentino Dolce Vita is so, so good. I absolutely love this scent. So if you guys are interested in trying out Dossier for yourself, I do have a discount code with them. It's Amanda5 for 5% off your order. And again, thank you Dossier for partnering with me on today's video. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. All right guys, so last Tuesday I got back from Ireland and I am so thankful that we have two weeks off for spring break because I'm telling you an international trip when we only got one week off would have been so hard and challenging to do. But with two weeks off, you have those few days to recover, which luckily I was so glad. If you guys don't follow me on other socials, I'm putting out a video shortly after this one sharing my whole experience going to Ireland. And that will be a good one if you guys are interested um, in hearing that. But like I was saying, having those few days really helped because when I got back, I was just starting to feel like not the greatest. I feel like from traveling and the weather and it just been go, go, go for so long, I, I tend to like get like travel fatigue when I get back. So not only am I jet lagged, but I also come down with like a cold. So <laughs> the first three days coming back from my trip, I just rested and recovered from my trip. And then I finally got to unpack clean because my parents also came the following day I came back from Ireland. So luckily they allowed me to rest and I didn't feel pressured to entertain because I was so exhausted from traveling. But while they were here, we did go to a Cubs spring training game, which was actually pretty fun. I've never been to a spring training game and it being Arizona and the weather being so awesome in the spring, it was actually really nice. We got some hot dogs, peanuts, ice cream, nachos, tried all the snacks and watched the game and it was actually really nice. Went to a few dinners. So it was a very well spent two weeks of spring break and now we're back and I am so grateful for our district because every time we come back from our two-week break instead of the first day being back with students we have a professional development day which I personally love because it kind of eases us back into working with the kids and just like being go 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 um, after being off for so long so I love like easing back in having time to work in our classroom, getting some um, new exciting information that kind of like re-inspires us, at least me personally, and I get like excited for the next quarter. So that's what we have going on today. They separate every grade level to go to different schools in our district and get like a four hour PD, and then we can go back to our sites and work there, get caught up and just prepared for students to come. And luckily I actually adjusted to jet lag within the first day or two. Um, I swear, coming back from Italy, I felt like it took me a lot longer. But I actually adjusted pretty quickly and it helps that I need to be up early anyways. So that works out. And now we just have one quarter left of the school year, which I know it's gonna fly by. I'm going to Mexico in two weeks for my grandpa's birthday. And then we have so much testing to do in April. A lot of testing. And we're done in a couple weeks into May, so. Very exciting, I'm very excited for summer. And breaks always just like reinstill like what I love to do. <laughs> Which is ironic, cause it's like while well, I'm not at work, but I'm like, oh, I'm just so lucky to do what I do 
be a, a content creator and, an, a, and a teacher at the same time and just being able to travel and just do all these exciting things. The breaks always give me a good time to like reflect and just enjoy that. So it's just really nice. And on the plane ride, I binged and caught up on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. I'm a huge reality TV fan and I watch OC, The New New York, Salt Lake City. Those are the three I watched. I had heard so much buzz in the news about Beverly Hills and just other podcasts I listened to. I'd heard the names, very familiar with them, but I had never watched the show and I was like, it's just too many seasons. I don't want to get into it. And then in January, I started watching because there's 13 seasons and now we're in March and I finished 13 seasons in just three months and it's been the best decision ever. Almost all caught up. I'm still, I'm in the middle of season 13 right now. And it's very good. Definitely a really good decision on my part, to be honest. All right, I'm gonna finish up my mascara and go ahead and change. So I'm gonna just curl my hair, throw on some uh, leggings because it is a PD day. I, we get to just, we get to dress down a little bit. So finally, so we get to wear leggings and just be comfy and cozy. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll talk to you guys in a second. All right guys, first of all, I can't believe it's like sunny now. Now that we're in spring, it is also an hour later, but still. Um, this is what I'm wearing today, just these leggings with this long, top and then a shirt underneath and then some sneakers so heading out now and i hope you guys enjoy this video getting ready with me for my first day back um after spring break if you guys enjoyed it be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already and i'll see you on my next video bye guys